Sorry, I was just catching up on some reading. Today I'm going to be talking about binding books. Alright, let's get started. First off, we need some supplies. We'll start off with a cutting mat for cutting our paper, X Acto knife, paintbrush, ruler, binder clips, bigger the better. Also, book binding glue. First off, we need some pages for our book. So, what I've done was take standard 8.5 by 11 page and fold it in half, making two page signatures. Also what I've done is take an 11 by 17 page, which is going to be our cover. It's pretty light for a cover, but it'll work out for this demonstration purpose. So as you can see, I cut the page to be the same height as the pages that are going inside the book. And I left a lot of excess, which is going to work out better for us in the end. All right. There's two different ways you can do a perfect bind. First off, I'm going to show you the way to do it with the binder clips. So what I've done here is I took my piece of paper for the cover and I've already scored it to be the same size as one of the pages. I'm just going to fold that and get that ready. Okay, so first thing we have to do is take all our pages, make sure they're all set up to where they're supposed to be, on this one, I'm just going to do a standard page bind, where all the folds are going to be in our binding. So what you want to do is take your pages, and try to get them all lined up flush. This is one of like the most important things doing a perfect bind. You make it look real good. You want to make sure your pages are all good and flush. So what we're going to do is take our binder clips, after we get our pages flush, and just clip them real close to the binding where it's going to be. So at this point, after we get it all flush, you want to double check it, make sure all your corners are good, so it's not too bad. So at this point, what you do is apply your glue on top here of the binding. Make sure you want to get it all in there good, and try not to miss too much. So after you put the glue on, you take your cover and where it's folded, you just press it down and make sure it's in real good. At this point, you can flip it over. Usually, you want to prop it up on something and just let that dry. All right, our other option for doing a perfect bind is actually making a jig, which is much more effective than using the binder clips. So what I've done here is made a jig out of a piece of wood, and the piece of wood has to be bigger than the actual page because you need to have these two other pieces that sit at a 90 degree angle and these, these two pieces of wood are what are going to make our page flush. And up here at the top is our clamp to clamp the binding to make it real nice and tight and, and even. So as you can see, this page, after it sits on this bottom piece, just barely goes over the end of the piece. So that gives us just enough room to make the binding real tight and be able to apply the glue and work with the cover. So what I'm going to do is just put those pages in the jig so you get an idea how this thing works. Just like so. See, as you can see, you can make your pages real flush just by all pushing it into this corner here. I mean, there's really no way to make it any flusher. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So at this point, you take your cover page, which is already scored, and you want to stick it in the back of all your pages. This part can be a little tricky sometimes, just because it's a different size than the rest of the pages. But you can feel it when it's flush in there into the corner of the jig. So you just want to continue to check your flush all the way around. Once you get it flush, you can tighten it down. And you don't have to get it really tight. I mean, just tight enough so the pages aren't going to be moving around. Just 
just like so. I mean, that's just a real nice and smooth and tight. I mean, a lot more effective than using binding clips. So at this point, um, what we do is get our glue ready. So from here, all you have to do is we're gonna apply the glue onto the where the binding is going to be. Just like so. I mean, you wanna put enough on there, but not too much. Because if you got a lot in there, you're gonna, when you put the cover down there, it's gonna squirt all over the place and your pages are gonna be all funky. But just a nice even coat really does the trick. You know, sometimes if you put too little in there, it's not going to have enough saturation into the paper. And then your pages are going to fall out, and you're going to be an unhappy camper. But here we go. Got a good, even coat. And from this point, you just take your cover that's scored, flip it over, press it on your nice, flat, flush pages. Flip it over, and just let that dry. Usually takes about three hours, and then we'll get back to it. All right, now that I let this dry for a while, I'm ready to take it out of the jig. Just loosen up the clamp here. And we're gonna just slide her out. At this point, you're going to want to try to score the cover here where it's going to fold in. And what you can do is just score right next to the page where you want your cover to fold at. Once that's done, we can just fold this down. So from here you can see that we have the excess for the cover. And the reason I did that now is because when you're planning on binding your book, you don't really know how thick your book's going to be. So if you pre-cut the cover, you, your cover might end like way before the page is like even stops, you know, you don't want to do that. So that's why we do the excess. And in this part, it's real easy. What you can do is take your ruler and line it up with your last page here. Try to make it as flush as possible. And take your X-Acto knife. And we're just gonna trim away that excess. There we have it. Perfect bound book. Alright, now that we have a perfect bound book, I just want to thank you for joining me today. I hope these new skills will get you far.